Hello, I'm the Yorks Fossil Hunter. Welcome back to part two of the uh, Dactyloceros press preparation, even. It's a mouthful, isn't it? So, you've just left me. Uh, we'd finished the the penning of the aminate. I've just wet it again because it looks nice. <clears throat> uh, we've got the all the cleaning up on the outside to do. So, basically, all we want to be doing here is anything more than half of the aminate. You know, on the keel, so like here, it's you. You can leave it like that, and it'd be nice. But I like to, you know, just where the keel starts going back under, I like to undercut it just a little bit all the way around, and then we'll get the grinder out, and we will flatten the matrix, give it a coat of varnish, and that'll be absolutely amazing. So I'll put you on time lapse, but basically all I'm going to be doing is is penning keeping all this nice and flat as or as flat as I can and just trying to get just a little undercut going on in the ammonite under the ammonite So as you can see that's looking miles better now. We've got a nice keel all the way around. Well, a nice view of the keel. I don't really have much going on with the keels these dax, but still really nice, looking good. I think I'll probably sand a flat there at the bottom to, to stand it up like that. But for now, we're gonna get the grinder out. And I've got a uh, diamond coated ball for this oh. <laughs> and basically I mean these are quite noisy <coughs> but I'm just gonna run the grinder all the way around this matrix just keeping the pressure nice and light and letting the grinder do the work and I'm gonna try and get rid of all my pen marks and just make it as, as flat as possible basically it's you know it's quite difficult to get it level flat but enough to you know just to make it aesthetically pleasing i suppose some people have got it down to a fine art of getting it really really flat um and you know it's it's personal preference i think flat enough is is nice enough especially for a dark you know but yeah i'll put you on time lapse because i mean grinding's grinding and it's also worth noting i have got a dremel elsewhere uh, i don't use it that much but just in case this packs up i've got a dremel so you can use them i know people do Tractor's bloody noisy, so as you can see, the um, the matrix is looking miles better now. But what that does is creates another little bit of where you need to pen. So you've got that lovely flattish matrix now, but because you don't touch the ground up against the ammonite, you get left with a rough bit around here. So I'll use the pen just to flatten off all the way around the edge of the ammonite, uh, and then it's onto the mouth border. So I'll just get the pen and I'll just use it as, as like a scraper just to go around the ammonite. It just tidies it off nicely. <laughs>
pretty damn good now compared to what it was when we first started here I mean you could just leave it there there's nothing wrong with that looks perfectly fine like that give it a coat of artist varnish or beeswax and it'd be amazing but what I think is a nice finishing touch is to sort the mouth border out so we want to try and get it it's hard to hard to say but you can see sort of the shape of the of the of the ribbon on the ammonite you want to sort of try and follow that as best as you can you can pen this down a bit and then use the grinder uh, normally that's what I do you can just go straight in with the grinder because there's a bit of matrix there we'll we'll give it a pen It's actually pretty difficult to do with a camera underneath here. Yeah. I just don't know if you're picking all that up. Right, I'm going to put the extractor on because I'm going to grind the mouth border now. So basically what we'll be doing is I've, I've got my diamond coated ball tip on again. And I'm just going to try and smooth this off. Make it nice and flat. But then I'm also going to go into it a little bit just to recess the border. So just... Turn the extractor on because definitely with a grinder you want extraction. It is a bit noisy but it'll save your lungs.
so it might seem like I was putting a lot of pressure in there but I really was just letting the grinder do the work you know, and it just it just makes it a little bit more presentable a little bit more penning just to tidy it up once more I always like to do a bit of penning after a bit of grinding so literally just around anywhere you can see the little edges Then, but just the little bit of damage I mentioned earlier on you can't really see it head on but around the back it's missing some of its shelly so I just sort of smoothed it off a bit but that to me is finished there's nothing wrong with that it looks absolutely fine all we do now is the fun bit which I like because it just makes it look a million dollars uh, in my Dow Egberts no affiliation there i don't drink coffee anymore but in here we've got some artist varnish which is just diluted with a little bit of white spirit gives it a nice satin finish and you really want to you know I'm, I'm fully loading my brush but then i'm also really getting rid of a lot of the liquid you don't need that much of this stuff it, a little bit goes a really long way just tend to just 
load the tip up after a few times. And then as you can see, as soon as you put this on, it just looks a million dollars. You just gotta really get it in all the nuts and crannies. Some people like to call it the matrix, I ah, like the contrast between the, the the grounded matrix and the and the ammonite. So then we just get the brush again and we try not get any on the matrix, but if you do, all you've got to do is get your grinder or your pen and sand it off basically. That's the beauty with this sort of work you can there's always ways of getting around stuff to you know if you if you haven't got a centre it's not into the world if you damage a bit you can restore it you know if it's a really nice ammonite I like to go over it a few times just to let it really soak in A really nice dark this lights going to one of my customers they'll be really happy with it I think he watches my channel actually so make sure you uh, comment mate you know who you are but yeah look at that amazing so we'll just let that dry now let the varnish do its work and I'll give it a little bit of a buff or just with a stiff brush, hog's hair brush, something like that. I might put a flat on it. Depends. Let's see if it, I think I will put a flat on it. it don't want to stand up. I'll give him a message, see if he wants... I mean, there's... I think that's only half of one at that side, so... I'll just leave it like that. It'd be really nice just as a display piece. So hopefully you've learned some more. If I missed anything out and you've got any questions, just let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to get back to you all. Um, main thing is just have a go. Have a, have a, have a practice, you know, don't, don't be shy. If it's something special, then obviously leave that till you're a bit more competent. But Dax, a ten a penny. You pick them up all the day, all day long. Up, up be way, don't you? So have a go. Ventilation, magnifying glass, pen. That's all you need. Ugh, eat her if it's cold. Got the uh, air abrader in there for a bit more special stuff. And then I don't know if I've shown you, but I'm all set up for cutting. Polishing now. A few projects I've been working on. You can have a little sneaky peek. I mean, that is really, really ugly, but it's a rare speed and ammonite, so there you are. They're not all pretty. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.